Hi everyone I wish you a warm welcome to Usatility. Today is special we are going to discover how to launch and play Mastercraft on your PC. From now you can display it on screen. It will be possible to effortlessly download and install Mastercraft and play the game on our Windows PC using our gamer keyboard if we want to, mouse and large monitor. Then it's time to have fun, let's get to it. Before anything else folks, to get started we need to open our main browser. We open the one we prefer. Let's continue, going to the next URL that I have highlighted in green. There you are seeing it on the PC screen. You don't need to type it, simply because I added a clickable link in the video description and the first pinned comment. We ended up here on our internet site of Usatility, exactly where we find here an in-depth demonstration on how you can download and install Mastercraft on personal computer. We search down a bit and press on the download game on PC button. Once clicking on the link, we land here on the site of LD Player, which the Android emulator that we will load to get access to this game Mastercraft on our PC. It is now obvious that we access some pros of running this emulator. Custom controls, multiple instances, instance synchronization, macros, scripts, high FPS, etc. So we will proceed to download the Mastercraft by simply clicking on the button download Mastercraft on PC that you can see here in green color. The step is clicking on that button. Of course, the download action starts and ends immediately. Voila, this is the download. It is an executable file. The following step is to launch the executable file, so we have to click on this file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to make changes to the system. We said yes. I minimize the browser to see the installation software much better. The installation software is uncomplicated. It consists of two options, install, and setup path. I will talk about what setup path genuinely does. We just simply click on it. And then we see that we get here the path where the emulator will be set up. If we have to change for better this directory we are required to click on this, browse, option, and now we pick another directory and install the emulator exactly where we desire. To keep it simple, just leave it by default. Then, I click on back. And therefore I click on install. At this moment, before starting the installation of that emulator, it's possible that it's going to offer us one or two computer software packages to add on the laptop. Because I do not need any of these computer software, I merely click several times on the reject button. Great. The installation starts and it's going to move forward in the download of all these MB which are shown on this computer screen. After you download it, it could possibly be more or less megabytes. The data transfer speed may go faster or slower, subject to your type of connection and according to the efficiency of the emulator hosting servers. Today they are progressing super fast. The download is completed, and at this moment it continues with the installation procedure. The setup requires more or less time primarily based on the strength of your hard drive. The more powerful it actually is, the shorter the setup time and or vice versa. If we join the download and installation phase it may take a very long time, so have patience. It is now completely finished for me. At this time, the emulator has been launched on autopilot. As you can see now, down here, there is a progress bar which will advance to the right and once it comes to the ending, the emulator is going to be started for the very first time. Believe it or not the emulator has already been launched, here for the first time. And therefore LD Store is automatically launched, that is a kind of Google Play. It isn't really the smartest solution to set up the video game, therefore I really don't suggest it, given that typically the LD Store sets up an out-of-date version of the video game. I'll demonstrate how you can set up the video game by utilizing the Google Play therefore I recommend you to do it this way. First of all, we must do is to head to the desktop by pressing this software icon that I'm pointing out in green color. Before we continue on, as you can see, it has created two icons there on the computer desktop. The LD Player and LD Multiplayer. Note that the LD Player app icon is definitely the only one we're concerned about. When we desire to operate Mastercraft on our desktop or laptop, we double-click on this icon and consequently use the emulator. The LD Multiplayer app icon has nothing to do with multiplayer or nearly anything such as that. Of course, it is an software icon that we might quite likely never work with. Let me do the next step, which is actually a must, and this is to begin to browse the Google Play Store. To achieve this we will go here to System Apps, we click on. And we are going to click on Play Store. As can be seen the Google Play is launched. Here we have got to sign in. Currently when we are right here, we are required to execute this next phase that is absolutely mandatory. So that we mouse click on, sign in. 
At present it says, checking info. It can occasionally get stuck in, checking info, that's why it fails to continue. In that case, you can try to connect to your account after a few hours it's going to most probably be sorted out. At present we are going to enter our login name and password. The email address is required to be a Gmail email and its associated password. For instance you make use of the exact same email address you use at the moment in your YouTube account. Thus I am going to enter my information and I'll revisit immediately after I have accomplished it. Voila! Data entered. Below is Google welcoming us and providing us their twos. We must approve them all by simply clicking, I agree. Then, it offers us to back up to the Google Cloud. You might leave it selected and this will generate a backup of your files on that device to Google Drive. I won't check it. You can use this feature if you wish. We mouse click on accept. By now Google Play is launched by default and immediately. In the event that the Google Play is simply not presented by default and you have no idea how to start it yourself, I illustrate how to do it right. First thing is to head to the emulator desktop by pressing this app icon designated in green. Presently we go to the system apps folder. And we select the Play Store icon. Well, we're here inside of Google Play. What we will perform right now is browse here to search for apps and games. And then we are going to search for Mastercraft. Furthermore there we end up with it, we must choose the first result. On this page we have the game. How about we press now on the install choice that I'm just displaying now in green color. This action will start the installation. At this time it should download on your laptop or computer and set up the Android game. It will take a bit of time or perhaps it could also be extremely fast. That all relies on the web connection. It's already finished installing. It's time to go back to the emulator desktop by clicking on this option that I am emphasizing in green, that allows you to use Mastercraft for the first time. I am already on the emulator desktop, and then we're about to just click the fresh Mastercraft app icon which was generated. That game is launched for the first time. Currently there we end up with it. I can also mouse click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I am going to comment on the volume of this emulator. It is right here. We use the icon of higher volume along with the icon of lower volume. This way we don't count on the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound of this emulator. And also to enjoy the experience to the fullest, we should turn on the large monitor, for which we have two alternatives. This one is the first one. We mouse click on this app icon which I am basically identifying in green color. Thus the screen is maximized, getting one border at the top, one on the right side and the third one at the bottom. If ever we want to appreciate the app in full screen, we click that software icon. And we might already be experiencing the video game in 100% screen function. To stop the 100% screen functionality, click the F11 key. And we'd by now end up being in normal display screen setting. At this point, I am going to reveal you the keys mapping which is certainly rather cool. This step we will likely be ready to utilize the game app much more easily. The very first point is to click on this keyboard icon. And right now there you will be able to make the appropriate adjustments. I'll go ahead and let the normal configuration, though if you need to improve it, you can easily do it now with no problem. I take on this opportunity to comment that in certain cases, when beginning the game application a dark screen occurs, if that is so and you discover the black display and the emulator fails to commence, I propose a doable alternative. We can go here, to the cogwheel. Inside the emulator options, in the advanced option we have got various resolutions. The following is the image resolution we have now decided on automatically and we must select any of these other resolutions, for example that one below. We go for it and click on save. It is going to tell us to reboot your emulator and when rebooted, probably the emulator will get started and this black display will cease to exist. Perhaps you have realized, the emulator is completely in our language. In certain cases it happens that your emulator is presented in the erroneous language, as an example, in Mandarin. And as a result to set it in the right language we go there to the cogwheel. So here within various other configurations, we just click that language drop down. We will determine the language we prefer, German, Japanese, and so forth. When the language is decided, we should save, the emulator would restart, along with the game, the next time we run it, will as well be in the specified language. Right now, there is another aspect that we need to take into account, and this is that we will get an email telling that a different equipment has been connected with our Google account. It will certainly question us if we are the people who have connected that device. Yes, we shouldn't be troubled, considering that the emulator is behaving like a Google Android tablet or smartphone. 
And in order to see which device is currently being emulated, we arrive right here, to the cogwheel and we then click on it. Be sure to go here to the model option, and there we notice that the emulator is simulating a Samsung mobile. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it folks, so much for the video tutorial. I believe you appreciated it, especially that everyone found it interesting. In this case, bring it a great thumb up, subscribe, and if you have remarks, concerns or suggestions, leave them in the comment box down below. You can even leave comments on my Twitch channel, I conduct live streams occasionally, you have it down below in the video description and in the initial pinned comment. Click on any of the online videos that happens to be showing up on the list of videos to watch and see you in the next instructional videos. Bye.